Whoa! Good morning, good morning guys. Who's ready for another trail running workout climb? Guys, let's get going. Let's get going. Here we are, I'm Hooded Hill Hopper. Let's do this again, video number 77 in a row. Hooded Hill Hopper, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ping! Come on, comment, feedback. Love your guys' comments, all the videos. The video yesterday, you guys gave me some great, some great comments. I just uploaded the video, so really, really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. We're back at the water tower again. Um, like I've mentioned, a few reasons. I get a better workout here. It's easier on my hamstrings and knees, and uh, I'm not worried about falling. And it's late, so I don't get blasted by the sun. So we're gonna focus more on storytelling on these sort of runs, because I know, I, I know you're like, hey, I think I've seen this video before. So, but anyways, it's the best I can do at the moment. We already did 13 laps. This is number 14. Oh man, okay. It's getting warmed up. We've done 1,095 feet now. It's gonna be more than that. 1,101. <laughs> The watch is always a little behind. Who and the watch ain't lying today. It didn't, didn't exaggerate. So okay, let's get going. Guys, whoo, welcome back. Dude, that was uh man, I could have used more sleep. I woke up at five this morning, which is I want to be up no later than 4:30. I like four to four thirty. So I was like, son of a bitch. Just uh jumped out of bed and Got ready and here we are did some quick paperwork as much as I could get going and get on my run Whew, Okay, so dude yesterday. Yeah, we did the video um, and I I talked briefly on uh, Just kind of performance enhancing, you know, whatever you want to call it anabolic steroids, you know You know the juice the gas the sauce <laughs> we, we call it whatever you guys are comfortable with so anyway, and I just kind of my video, you know, yesterday's kind of explained, you know, I never did it, um, but I was, you know, I, I managed a nutrition supplement store back in the early 2000s when I was in college. So I was very, very in that like inner circle of guys that were doing it. You know, they, they had the bodybuilding magazines back then. <laughs> They'd tell you where to go, what brands were legit. <laughs> It was pretty crazy, even though it was totally illegal in the U.S. So they're just like, yeah, you go to Mexico. They tell you how to sneak it back over the border. Um, but anyways, I wanted to, you guys gave me some great feedback. So I kind of wanted to expound on it a little bit here. Um, first off, uh, uh, lifting IQ did a great comment because I was talking about what I do and I was like yeah I do a little creatine like I do probably maybe four grams a day or something and then I started that right after Thanksgiving last year so like what nine months ago something like that um because my wife's like you need to start lifting heavier I want you to be bigger I want you to put on muscle so I was like okay I'm like I'll just take a little creatine that's what I did back in the day and like I was saying, I'm like, I don't know. Never noticed anything from creatine. Like I just, back then when I took it, when I was young, I didn't, you know, didn't get that, you know, the water weight gain, they call it, just holding on to, you know, and, and I never got that. And I'm like, I'm not sure on the studies. I, I read mixed up and this was a long time ago. But it's like, in theory, you know, it, it, it puts on like five, you know, you get like five pounds of water weight, it makes you look bigger. I don't know, leaner, but you know, it'll definitely make you look bigger. Um, but and I was saying, like, I don't know, I just think I'm a non responder with it, never noticed anything. Now, I did put on weight when I started taking it, but I also started going back to the gym and doing your traditional classic, um, heavy lifts, which I hadn't really done in my backyard because I just can't, I don't have the setup. So and I was eating more. So, I mean, maybe the creatine helped a little. I don't know, but I don't think so because even after like three weeks of the creatine, 
I hadn't put on any weight yet. It wasn't until really after Christmas where I started uh, making gains in the gym. So I, I don't know, like, but anyway, lifting IQ, who's kind of an expert power lifter, and he was like, he doesn't take it, but he's like, yeah, I did in the past. I put on water weight, but he did say like 20% of people are non-responders. So I might fall in that category. You know what else I fall category into? I'm in the cilantro gene. And if you guys, I think most people know this, but if you don't, you're like, what the, what the hell are you talking about? And this is not, the cilantro gene is people who literally, if you eat cilantro, we want to gag. It's like the worst, worst taste in the world. Like, bar none. Nothing, nothing touches it. Um, and that's, uh, and that's why I've always, everyone I know loves cilantro. Like, my wife, God, she'll have a taco, a little couple pieces of meat, do, 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 and then, you know, just a pound of cilantro on top. What the hell are you doing? That's disgusting. You just ruin that, or, you know, pizza, whatever. Morning, guys. So, I mean, so anyway, the cilantro gene. I swear to God, Google this. I'll try. I'll try to remember to put a link in the video description. It's like some certain amount, and it's a low percentage of people have some sort of gene, some DNA sort of thing. I don't understand it. That makes you absolutely despise cilantro, and that's me. So like, dude, I'm like, and and you can taste it a mile away. Like you can have one little tiny stem, and like a salad or something. Like, I'm out. <laughs> or I'll sit through there and pick it all out. That's what I'm a pro at. But anyways, that's the cilantro gene. And it is 100% true. <laughs> like, people do get that. And I mean, I was actually so glad when I found that out a few years ago. Because you always just deal with grief from my wife, my family, like my parents. You're such a picky eater. You don't like anything. Stop being a baby. It's like, no, it's science assholes so <laughs> there we go so hooded hill hopper does not eat cilantro at all he hates it so well that that had a lot to do with steroids so anyways <laughs> lifting iq yeah no thanks for the feedback i was i thought i'd read that before that some people with creatine are non-responders i just that's how i felt i always personally did good with when I upped up my protein intake, that made a difference. Especially when I was young. You know, they're like, take 200 to 300 grams of protein daily. <laughs> That'll bulk you up if you're lifting hard. There's no, there's no doubt about that. So anyways, um, so yeah, lifting IQ, you know, thanks for kind of clarifying that. Because a lot, a lot of stuff I say is just kind of... I think I remember this kind of hearsay, you know, but I didn't really do any research because I'm super lazy or more importantly busy as you know what. Um, so anyways, thank you. Dude, next up was uh, uh, Augie Silver Fitness left a great comment and he was talking because we were kind of talking why I had mentioned yesterday why people, older guys, you know, start getting in that like testosterone replacement therapy this and that and he's I think he says he's about to turn 60 oh my god you look great man dear lord and I'm 40 and I was saying like I think once you it's probably in your mid 20s but especially when you hit 30 like your T levels just boop 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 they're they're declining and you basically do whatever you can you know food diet exercise to you know keep in shape do what you can and uh that's what augie was saying like yeah dude my you know I'm, I, I'm spot on in my nutrition and everything but he's the one who said it he's like yeah your testosterone it decreases uh percentage each year when you hit 30 so again like thank you for the feedback and clarification so things i'm like i'm pretty sure but <laughs> like <laughs> experts like you help a lot um so that's uh and so i think that's why guys the recovery is so much longer 
like it's just like oh dude so it's kind of funny like you know when i'm 20 it, but you, you can still have good endurance stamina it's a funny thing when i was 20 you know i could run yeah well, no, no big deal i feel great with whatever every all the time now it's like you do a hard workout you feel like you wake up the next day you're like oh my god how am i gonna run again or whatever so you didn't have that when you're 20. the difference is i couldn't run up a damn hill when i was 20. so I, my stamina endurance is just through the roof i built it up over the years but my recovery just awful so but in in uh, uh augie was mentioning silver fitness that he uh he you know he's like i've never touched steroids never will um and you could tell with his you know definitely but um he also mentioned that he does use protein powder to supplement because he's just like i just don't eat enough i don't get enough through my regular diet so i mean he might i don't know if he's a vegetarian or or what or just not a big eater some people just aren't eaters you know it's like i don't have an appetite so <clears throat> that's great i personally haven't used protein powder in years because i think i eat enough protein uh naturally but uh it definitely helps <laughs> i got good gains when i did you know back in my youth um what i do use i forgot to mention this yesterday i use a bcaa powder branch chain amino acids and i'll be honest my wife actually got me into this because she was going to the gym big time in la fitness and next door in the shopping center there's some mom and pop nutrition store basically identical to like sort of setup i worked at years ago years another lifetime and uh we would uh so she would they talked her in like get this bca powder she's trying to lose weight you know a girl she's a girl she's not trying to bulk up she's trying to lose weight and they talk her into hey this bca powder take this like right after your workout and before and this and that and so like i'm you know, i know i know nutrition nutrition facts well so, like give me that and i'm just like she's like it tastes great and i'm like yeah let me look at it it's, well it's got sugar in it of course of course it tastes good it tastes like kool-aid it does it tastes a freaking amazing so um and so i'm explaining to her like look that's great you're taking this but it's gonna hamper your weight loss because like you just need to you need i know her body type like, I'm like i know how your body functions you need to hit the cardio you need to hit it hard and for a long time and stay away from this you know so i ended up using it when i started lifting back at the gym so i'm like i can use the post-workout you know the sugar and bcaa's it might be garbage i don't know but even if it's straight up kool-aid like that's all that's in it you know it does a couple things get some sugar some glyc glycogen in my muscles and then it also i mix it with cold water so it cools me down <laughs> on these hot days and just refreshing so that <laughs> so i do it it might I don't know if it does a dang thing, but I'm taking it right now. I don't know. I'll keep doing it. That stuff's not cheap. The one thing about creatine, you can buy like an eight-year supply for like 20 bucks. Not really, but it's like dirt cheap, pure creatine. This stuff's like, it's a little more money. So I might just cut it out. But, oh, dude. Yeah, I'm sweating. When I wear just a windbreaker and it's humid and hot, what happens is... It's like a hot tent inside here and just builds up that water and it literally starts pouring out like a river out of my sleeves you know so it drip, 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 drip. so anyways something no one cares about so anyway augie augie silver fitness great response uh, on the protein powder and great uh thanks for educating me on the testosterone levels and everything um and bo both of them iq lifting iq and augie silver fitness you know definitely check them out guys these guys are doing legit work so definitely check out their channels i'm gonna try and remember to throw links in it's all kind of combobulated so i probably won't do timestamps with everything but i'll definitely put in their channel links oh man okay 
So, and then, oh, third. And th this one was, this, this was a great comment. I saw it right before I went out the door to run. So I'm like, oh, I gotta include him. Uh, and this guy is just legendary, his videos. Um, Cole's Muscle Power and Fitness, I think. Yeah, Cole's Muscle I, I always get, I get my words mixed up with his. Cole's Muscle Power and Fitness. God, I hope I said that right. Sorry, buddy. Um, But so he's a, uh, the dude's just an ox. Strong as all heck, just love his channel. He's just doing heavy lifts. Just squatting heavy. Squatting heavy, heavy. So is lifting IQ. He, he squats heavy too. Um, but he's uh it would crack me up is um, some of his first videos I saw, he was just wearing a baggy sweatshirt. So like, okay, some normal dude. Then he starts like pumping, like repping bench press, like two or three plates, like it's nothing. I'm like, oh crap, okay. He's got he's got some size, some strength under that sweatshirt. And he'll squat like nothing, like, like it's nothing. Three, four plates, whatever. But anyway, so he's great to chime in. Great to have his opinion on the whole anabolic performance enhancers. And he's like, hey, I'm 49, which, dude, <laughs> that's amazing, dude. You're 49, you're nine years older than me, and you're still lifting heavy. That's, man, that's just, that's just awesome, dude. So, um, but he's like, he made some really good points. And this is one of the reasons I would have never touched it myself. That's why I was like, I've got like no desire, even though I'm like heavy in the fitness and especially weightlifting at one point. And he's just like, yeah, I never took it. I'm in great health now. I'm still lifting super heavy at 49. I feel great and everything. <clears throat> and he's like, I knew a lot of, he's, I had a lot of buddies and stuff, friends, he's all, they they all took it. They were all, uh, you know, it, when they're younger, they all took it. And here's, he made a good point. A lot of these guys, A, they're not doing it anymore. They're not even lifting. And B, the, their body is just wrecked because they unnaturally put on muscle mass. And then, so A, you're carrying more weight than you're probably naturally, your frame can support. <clears throat> and B, you're moving around weight that your body is unnaturally too much. So you're lifting heavier than you probably have any right to do. Um, and then that's just ruined their bodies. And, um, dude, and, and so that was a great, so he's like, you know, hey, I'm glad I never got into that, he said. And yeah, I, I know what you mean. I do know guys that just wreck their body. Because <clears throat> a couple things, most of those guys, at least in my experience, that were on stuff, they weren't, they were looking for a shortcut. So they weren't disciplined anyways, with nutrition, with the lifting, with everything. So they didn't know what the heck they're doing anyways. And so they wanted the cheap, easy results, and then they'd lose it all, you know? And they weren't healthy. So anyways, a lot of them, a lot of them, just by nature, they weren't healthy dudes. They weren't in their fitness, so they dropped off and got out of shape and everything. So that plus the wear and tear from the steroids can cause severe injuries. You want an example? Oh, he was like, he won Mr. Olympia, which is like the, the you know, the prestigious bodybuilding title, like many times, I think in the late 90s, early 2000s, something like that, don't, don't quote me. Uh, Ronnie Coleman, this dude out of Texas, and dude, that dude was, dude, he was like, he'd go on stage, I think near the end, like close to 300 pounds, just carrying so, and just ripped, just carrying way, way too much weight, size on than he had any right. And now, it's pretty sad, like he's still, good guy, I think he's really successful with business, but his back is ruined and he walks with, I believe like brace, like, you know, those like kind of, like those walking crutches or whatever. He's got a, oh, it's either on Netflix, it's on YouTube for sure. I think Netflix has it, his documentary. And it's, it's kind of interesting, I watched part of it. But just seeing him, it's like, man, 
his upper body i mean he's still still in shape but it's like i mean he can't be he's under 60 for sure he might be way younger than that and i'm thinking if he was around 30 in 2000 he's probably in his early 50s i bet but anyways yeah you just see and that's an extreme example but dude that's what it can do because he was huge and he was lifting like a monster so yeah cole is totally right you know that's perfect example why not to take it dude it's gonna come it's gonna bite you in the butt you know like i said i don't have a problem with like testosterone replacement therapy later on in life like you're 70 80 you know to give you a boost give you some energy i know guys in their 50s that it's literally they don't lift or anything they just it, it gives them more energy they're not like as lethargic during the day and it's a low dose and <clears throat> i believe most of them they're getting like an injection like i think it's once a month the guy i knew well he's probably like 20 years older than me he was doing it like once a month um and uh you know and he, he's just like dude i need it man he's like I, oh dude <laughs> you know what we'll do one more lap okay i'm still talking then we'll do the sprint which by the way yesterday i got down to 44 seconds so the goal is I wasn't ready yet this dude i start talking like an idiot <laughs> so the um i did 44 seconds yesterday basically i think since i've done it my first time was 50 seconds to sprint and then the second and third were 46 each and then 44 yesterday ideally i want to get under 40. like if i can get in the high 30s we're good i know adrian and nico it's all right man 30 seconds let's get it dude i don't i don't think i can shave that much i, I just don't think it's gonna happen dude if i can great but i need cheetah legs or something like it's just not not in the cards oh, oh by the way i was literally walking out the door i saw the message on my watch like the first half sentence like celine ferocious like, he just nonchalantly like said oh was that a mountain lion there's no mountain lions in this part I, I hope not i've seen coyotes but we're surrounded by houses so dude if we're <laughs> mountain lions are here if you put your kids in get them in the house so anyways okay this is our last lap of regular whatever so cole's muscle power and fitness awesome thank you man for the feedback oh hoggies silver fitness lifting iq these are three experts have way more knowledge than i do on this sort of thing and really respect what you guys are doing and uh and the feedback you know educating me helps me a lot so awesome awesome <clears throat> with that said we're gonna get at it i don't think i'm gonna hit 44 i just <clears throat> i don't feel like it's in the cards we'll see 24 24 oh shoot i forgot the camera okay let's go 24 24 let's go let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go. Speed demon, baby. Let's go. Gotta keep it up. Now we slow down here. <clears throat> Come on now. Come on. Come on, guys. At home. Oh, grab that hammer. Throw it down. Throw it down. Ah. Ah. When I say 24, <sighs> 24, that was 05. I'm gonna subtract a second. Let's say 06, 42 seconds. We knocked off two. Ooh, that felt actually good. My hamstring, my right kind of went there for a second, but okay, we're getting a little faster. Just gotta be careful with the hammies. But dude, guys, Dude, there's workers down there they're like what the heck anyways guys 
I hope you like that. Let's do it again. I'm Hooded Hillhopper. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like my stupid rants. Ping! Subscribe. I already said that. Comment, feedback. I love it. Share it. Sharing means caring. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I, we might do hyperlapse. I don't know. I got to figure it out.